and I will tell you, a lot of times you're scorned and you're looked at by the media because the media is very dishonest, much of it in this country, very, very dishonest. And the job that you've done in light of all of the things that you have to go through, I guess a little bit like me also, but I will say that uh, you have been really outstanding, incredible people. Make that a good picture. <laughs> We have somebody in what I call the failing New York Times that's talking about he's part of the resistance within the Trump administration. This person this is what we have to deal said. with. And, you know, the dishonest media, because you people deal with it as well as I do. But it's really a disgrace. Uh, I, I will say this. Nobody has done what this administration's done in terms of getting things passed and getting things through. A article was just Printed, just came out a few minutes ago. Trump breaks the record for budget gridlock wins. Scores big win. If you look, uh, almost 4 million jobs created since the election. Of which Nobody has ever done in less than a two-year period what we've done. So when you tell me about some anonymous source within the administration, probably who's failing and probably here for all the wrong reasons, no. And the New York Times is failing. If I weren't here, I believe the New York Times probably wouldn't even exist. And, and someday, let me just tell you, and someday when I'm not president, which hopefully will be in about Six and a half years from now. Yeah. Yeah. The New York Times and CNN and all of these phony media outlets will be out of business, folks. They'll be out of business because there'll be nothing to write and there'll be nothing of interest. So nobody has done what this administration has done. And I agree, it's different from an agenda, which is much different than ours. And it's certainly not your agenda, that I can tell you. Thank you. It's about open borders. It's about letting people flee into our country. They don't like Donald Trump, and I don't like them because they're very dishonest people. Remember this also about the New York Times. When I won, they were forced to apologize to their subscribers. They wrote a letter of apology. It was the first time anybody's ever done it because they covered the election incorrectly. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, yeah. meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. Uh, we're doing forward? a great job. The poll numbers are through the roof. Our poll numbers are great. And guess what? Nobody is going to come close to beating me in 2020 because of what we've done. We've done more than anybody ever thought possible in, it's not even two years. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.